Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Steph G and I'm back with another business video and in today's video I'm going to share with you guys my top 10 business checking accounts for 2021. I'm going to give you guys all the details as well as tell you why it's important to have a business account. So if you're interested then definitely go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. And on my channel, I share business tips, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle vlogs. So if that's something that you're interested in, then you definitely want to go ahead and subscribe and join the crew. So in today's video, like I mentioned before, I'm going to be telling you guys my top 10 business checking accounts for 2021. Now, if you haven't already started a company or thinking about starting a company and haven't opened up a checking account, then you definitely want to go ahead and do so. I didn't open mine to like six months down the road, which I definitely do regret. I wish I would have started a business checking account when I first started my company just because I felt like everything was messy you know I was using my personal funds and then putting my business funds with my personal funds in my personal checking account and things just got mixed up and it was just a lot especially when tax season rolled around I was trying to figure out what expenses I spent I was looking through my personal account trying to comb through everything and I can take a lot of work you know what I'm saying because if you're using your card for personal usage then you know that you have multiple transactions not just for your business but for your personal use and you don't want to have all that in the same account and then you're trying to figure out what expenses you use for your business it's just a lot so i suggest that you get a business checking account when you first start your company so then that way you can keep those two separated everything goes in your business account goes towards your business things and then your personal funds go to your personal things um but yeah guys so i'm gonna tell you guys my top 10 of course i wrote everything down don't mind the paper it ripped out of my notebook so yeah we're not gonna talk about this um but i have written down all the information on a lot of these banks that offer business checking accounts and i'm gonna give you guys just some comparison some details so that way you guys are a little bit more familiar with some of these banks and if you're interested then you'll go ahead and of course open up an account if you're thinking about starting a company or if you already started a company no worries just go ahead and start sis you got this okay so let's go ahead and start number one on my list is novo now this bank is available in 30 different states um, they have no account minimums, no monthly fees, but you do need $50 to open up the account, which is not bad. You can deposit checks up to $20,000 per day and then $40,000 per month. Now, if you guys are depositing large amounts like that, then maybe this is something you know that you're interested in or it's a good thing. Um, now, they are a MasterCard debit, no ATM fees as long as the ATM is within their network. Now, you will have to go on their website to kind of check what ATMs fall under their network now if it's an atm that's out of network then you're definitely gonna have to pay the fee but the good thing about it is that they will reimburse you those fees so it's like you never even paid so that's definitely a plus novo can also connect to like shopify most other like hosts like that that are similar to shopify and then they also connect to quickbooks now if you don't have quickbooks or haven't heard of quickbooks then you definitely want to go ahead and check them out because they're like the easiest way to kind of stay organized. They are pretty much like an Excel spreadsheet that pretty much tallies up all the expenses that you've been spending. So imagine it being connected to Novo. It's like the best thing ever because that means you really pretty much don't have to do anything. They probably will automatically transfer all of the funds and the expenses that you spend on your card right over to QuickBooks. So that's definitely a win. Like you want to make sure that you stay organized because trust me. When tax season rolls around, you don't want to be scrambling around trying to figure out where you need to start to figure out what expenses you spent, how much you spent, what you're trying to, you know, follow your taxes so that you can get that money back because it's super important. Now, if you keep receipts, then you might want to look into QuickBooks because this will eliminate keeping receipts because I also keep receipts as well, but I am thinking about doing QuickBooks and maybe I'll do a video so that way I can kind of explain to you guys how it works because this will eliminate a lot of like receipt keeping. You don't have to worry about trying to hold on to receipts or putting it in a little folder, which is not hard, but this just makes it easier. So yeah. Now the only downside about this account is that you can't earn any interest. Now if you guys are really big on earning interest on the money that you have in your account then maybe this may not be the account for you now for me i have just learned about earning interest on an account so i'm kind of big on that so this probably wouldn't be the best for me but yeah but if you guys don't care about the earning interest then you might want to look into novo 
I will, as always, link all this information down below in the description box. The number two on the list is Blue Vine. Now, this company was founded in 2013, and they do not require any money down to open up an account, which is a good thing. No monthly fee, no minimum deposits or balance. Now, for ATMs, they do not charge as long as the ATM is within the network. And of course, you guys have to look on the website to kind of see what ATMs fall under their network. But if the ATM does not fall into the network, then they are going to charge you the fee. And the only downside is that they won't reimburse you for those funds. But they do have some other benefits that kind of make up for that. Now, they do not charge for insufficient funds, which is a good thing because you guys know that a lot of these larger banks charge you $35 for insufficient funds. And who has $35 to spend? Okay, like I already don't have the funds in there and you're charging me an additional 35 funds. 35 funds 35 dollars just for insufficient funds so this is a great thing that this bank doesn't do that because it allows you to you know sometimes things happen so you don't have to call the bank to either claim a hardship or whatever else people do to be able to get those 35 dollars back so yeah and they also allow you to earn interest up to one percent which is amazing like i told you guys before earning money on your money that you already have in the bank is a plus okay who doesn't want to do that if you're going to put your money somewhere then you want to make sure that you're putting it somewhere where it's allowing you to earn at least a little bit of money or some interest back now you do have to have a thousand dollars in your account to earn this one percent interest um but i feel like that's doable for the most part um now they do give you two free checkbooks which is amazing because you guys know that some of these other banks do charge you just for the first initial checkbook so giving you two free checkbooks if you still use checks would be a great thing um they also have an excellent app where you can maneuver pretty much check your balances do transfers use zelle and all that good stuff um and they have a very fast and easy sign up process which is amazing because we do not want to be on the computer trying to fill out an application for however long you know what i'm saying you want it to be quick and easy and simple so that way you can go ahead and start putting in your money and making your money into your business account all right guys that is it for that one now the third one on my list is radius taylor checking now this bank does require a hundred dollars to open up this account um which is not too bad they do have some other benefits i figured why not add them to the list um it is unlimited free transactions now you guys are probably wondering like you thought that all banks have unlimited free transactions not true some of these banks especially these major banks they definitely do charge you for like transactions depending on how many you make like some banks maybe like 100 transactions are free for the first month anything after 100 you're gonna have to pay like an extra 30 cents per transaction and that's gonna add up um but then i was wondering like who's making 100 transactions per month but you never know you know there might be people out there that make that many transactions per month so um that's something to definitely look into now they do have a monthly fee and it's ten dollars per month um unless you have five thousand dollars minimum in your account to be able to waive that ten dollar fee um, and they also allow you to earn one percent interest on the money that you have um matter of fact no sorry they allow you to earn one percent interest cash back on all the purchases that you make with that card so something to think about if you're interested in that one the next one on the list is nbkc and this stands for national bank of kansas city now you guys are probably wondering why am i giving you a bank in kansas city and you definitely can be a member of this bank you do not have to live in kansas city to be a member anyone in the world can bank with them so that's great now it only takes five dollars to open up the account which is amazing no minimal fees no monthly fees and no deposit no overdraft fees which we all love because no one wants to pay 35 dollars for an overdraft fee okay so there's none with them unlimited transactions which is a plus free atm withdrawals of course they have to be in network atms and they do have 34,000 atms all over the world that are in network um, but if they're out of network then they are going to reimburse you up to 12 dollars per month so it's still a good thing it's like a win-win even though if you make more throughout the month they're still only going to give you the 12 dollars per month but that's a good thing so you're still making some money back instead of none all right so next one on my list is u.s bank and this bank does not require any deposit to open up an account which is a plus no balance requirements no monthly fees and no withdrawal fees um, now the downside is that you can't earn any interest on this account 
and you have free withdrawals, of course, within the network ATMs as well. Now, this bank does have some limits. For example, if you do anything over 100 transactions per statement, it will charge you, I think it's 30 cents. I'm not too sure. Um, now, there are $25 free cash deposits. Anything after that will be charged, and they do charge for paper statements, and that is $5. So, yeah. So that is it for that one. Next one on the list is Navy Federal Credit Union. Now for this bank, you do have to be a member, whether it's part of the armed forces like the military, a veteran. Um, if you have family members who are in the military, then you can also become a member as well. And then if I'm not mistaken, I've heard that if you share the same address with, some, with either like a military person or anyone who has a Navy Federal card, then you're able to, or you're eligible to be a member. So you might wanna check into that as well. So that's a good thing. Now for this bank, they do not require any deposits to start the account, no minimum balance and no monthly fee. Um, and you can earn interest and that is 0.05%, which is not much, not like the other ones that allow you to earn 1% interest, but it's still something. Now this does have a limit of 30 transactions per month. Anything after 30, they're gonna charge you. So that is it for those banks. Now I'm gonna give you guys some of the larger banks just so that you can have something to compare to. Just get an idea as to what these larger banks have to offer compared to some of these other banks that are not as popular um, as these larger banks that have been around for many, 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 many years. Um, but I feel like the ones that I mentioned earlier are still good options. They offer a lot of benefits, give you some great you know, options to choose from. So you might wanna think about those. But let's go ahead and get into these other banks like Chase. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of Chase. It's been around for many, many years. I think they are in pretty much all 50 states, if I'm not mistaken. You might catch one or two. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of them. Now, this bank does not require any deposit to open up an account. No balance needed, but they do charge you a monthly fee of $15 per month. Now, this fee can be waived, and it's only waived if you have a minimum of $2,000 in your account, or you spend $2,000, or you deposit $2,000 in your account. So either one of those. You also can have a personal Chase account that will also allow you to waive the $15 monthly fee or be part of the military armed services, and that will also allow you to waive that fee as well. Next one on my list is Bank of America, and we have all heard of B of A. Um, you guys know this is a super popular bank. Now, to open up this account, you do have to have $100. Um, they do charge you a monthly fee of $16 a month, um, but it also can be waived if you have either $5,000 in your bank, and that's a minimum, or you have to spend $250 per month, which is not bad. I think that's doable if you're spending money on your business. I feel like you can spend $250 a month maybe. Um, there are some other options to waive that fee. You can either be a member of their preferred rewards business account. That'll also allow you to waive it. Um, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> now this bank does charge you for overdraft fees and you guys know that's a $35 fee. So you might wanna think about that. And then um, they also charge you for out-of-network ATMs as well, and that's $2.50 per withdrawal. All right, so that is it for that one. And the last one on my list is Wells Fargo, and you guys have all heard of Wells Fargo. Now, to open up this account, you do have to have $25 to deposit. They do charge you a monthly fee, and it is $10, which is a lot cheaper than B of A and Chase. Um, but you can waive that fee with either a $500 minimum or, and that's a daily balance. So you either have to have $500 minimum daily balance or $1,000 monthly balance in order to waive that fee. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, they also charge you a fee after the first 100 transactions. So once you've made those transactions for the month, the 100, then they start charging you and that's 50 cents per transaction. Remember guys, I was telling you some of these other banks are unlimited transactions. So that's how I was like, you know, I didn't know that either until I started researching a lot of these banks and I'm like, wow, like I would have never known that these banks will charge you. Like I'm still thinking to myself who's making a hundred transactions per month, but it could be possible. Like, you know, there might be people out there that are swiping their card that much. Um, and they also, do charge you a fee for cash deposits, anything after $5,000.
they charge you 30 cents per deposit. So if that's something that you guys do often, then you might want to look into that as well. Guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you found this information very informative. If you guys have any questions or any comments, definitely let me know down below in the comments. As always, I will link all this information down below in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and get you a checking account because like I said, it is very important that you have a business checking account so that you don't mix your personal with your business and you keep everything organized because trust me, you're going to thank me later, sis. I promise you. All right, guys. Till next time. I'll see y'all later. Bye.